Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about variants of Turing machine. A standard Turing machine consists of seven tuples as discussed in the earlier slides which consists of Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0, F and Tau. Now let's discuss about the important features of standard Turing machines which include the input is placed on an infinite long tape. Machine can read the input from tape one cell at a time and write the output on the tape one cell at a time. Tape head has to move in left or right direction after a read is performed and Turing machine is deterministic. That is corresponding to every input symbol. There is only one transition. Today we will be discussing about variants of standard Turing machine and we will be discussing five variants. Stay option, semi-infinite tape, multi-tape, multi-dimensional and non-deterministic. Let's be very clear that both class of Turing machines that is the one we discussed in the earlier slides and the standard Turing machine always accept the same languages. So we can say that if there is any machine M1 of first class and there is a second machine M2 of second class, there exists a language which is accepted by M1 then it is also accepted by M2. That means language accepted by M1 is same as language accepted by M2. We start with the first variant that is stay option Turing machine. In the standard Turing machine we have two movements. One is towards the left and another is towards the right. In stay option Turing machine, we introduce a third head movement that is stay option. Say for example, we read A, we write B, we don't move towards left or right. Instead, the head remains at the same cell position itself, which is shown in the example given here. Consider this slide. In this, we have shown first left movement that is read A, write B and move left. Next is read A, write B and move right. And third is read A, write B and stay there. That means the head will not move in left or right direction, but it will stay as it is. Next, we move to semi-infinite tape Turing machine. In this case, input tape is divided into two parts, left and right. There is a reference point and this reference point divides the machine into two parts. That is the right part and the left part. Please remember the left part of the machine will store the symbols in reverse order and no left move is allowed when read right head is at left boundary. In this example, we can see that the entire tape is divided into two parts. The right part is represented by BAA just right to the reference point and there's a hash which is the boundary indicator. If we talk about the left part, the input is placed on the tape in reverse order. That means Initially, we had delta B, B, A, A. Now, when we are storing it on the left part, we store it as A, A, B, B. This is how we divide the semi-infinite tape into two parts. When we talk about semi-infinite Turing machine and we say that there is a movement in the right side, which is depicted on the right side of this particular slide, it will read a symbol from the right part and it will move one step left. If we talk about semi-infinite tape with head on left side, that means we are considering A, B, R as read A, write B and move towards right in the left part. Right part remains intact. It does not change us. Next, we move to multi-track Turing machines. In multi-track Turing machines, there are more than one tapes and corresponding to each tape, there is read and write move on every track. There is a movement in one direction, left or right. And this movement takes place for all the tracks of the machine. We are considering a machine in which we have two tracks, track 1 and track 2. Read write operation performed in multi-track Turing machine is shown here. A, B that means read A from track 1, read B from track 2, B, C that means write B on track 1, write C on track 2 and move one step Left. Next, we come to multidimensional Turing machine. Turing machine with more than one dimension is called multidimensional Turing machine. Here we are considering a two-dimensional Turing machine. In 2D Turing machine, we will have four moves left, right, up and down. In multidimensional Turing machine, the head position plus one plus two indicates that it is moving two cells from origin towards x-axis and one cell from origin towards y-axis. Likewise, if we say minus 1, minus 2, that means right now the head is in the left side of x and y axis. Last is the non-deterministic Turing machine. In non-deterministic Turing machine corresponding to single input, we have more than one outputs. Here we have input symbol A. We move to Q1 on reading A and writing B 
and we move one cell right on the other hand we move to q2 state by acl that means read a write c and move one step left this is non deterministic turing machine the movement of non deterministic turing machine is shown in this diagram abr q0 to q1 and acl q0 to so we can summarize that we have discussed various variants of turing machines one of the major components of this course in the coming slides we will discussing about recursive languages first turing thesis and p and np type of problems thanks for watching